Are you guys seeing the, the my screen that says animation software? Yeah, we see it. Okay, great. Then that's going to work. I'm going to do, assuming there's time, I'm going to do like a live software demonstration towards the end. Ooh, nice. Exciting. All right, everyone, um, I know normally you don't turn on your cameras, but um, given that this is a cool workshop, maybe we might need you to turn on your work camera. So I don't know, just heads up. You don't have to. Hey, hi Izzy, hi Mackenzie, hi Perez. Hey. Oh wait, I forgot my uh, video filter. Oh, I'm looking at the chats just to answer anybody's questions. You don't need any software. We're gonna be doing good old fashioned pencil and paper. Um, so if you, I'll, I'll get into it later, I'm sure, but uh, if you don't have paper handy, this is probably a good time to go grab some, just a basic printer paper, nothing, nothing fancy. In fact, printer paper works best because we're gonna be doing a little bit of tracing, so nothing too thick. And then if you happen to have a Sharpie, that's gonna work best for this demo. Um, I'm seeing that some people have drawing tablets. That's probably fine, but I, I honestly, for this demo, paper and pencil is gonna be the best way to learn. And then we'll get into some more high tech options later. So Claire, just out of curiosity, is the audience going to see everybody or just you and me? Um, it's their choice. Uh, let's see. So right now, um, I have it on gallery view, so everyone could see everyone. But I could change it to spotlight. I could spotlight you. Yeah, that um, sounds good. You. I mean, I think as long as, as long as people are able to see me full frame when I get into the drawing demo, I think that's going to be helpful. So you can choose whether you want to spotlight me or just yeah i just i just did um there we go. is everyone able to see the spotlight or I can. i'm really yep. a teacher on zoom i'm usually the student but you know all right looks like it's working cool you guys ready oh, to jump yeah. in I, I see that um angel i love the background that looks so cool thank oh you gosh, yeah I love it so our much. little uh, angel hack minion he's he's working away hacking into the pentagon as I speak I love minions. It's possible for me to do that as well. I really want to iconic. <laughs> well, I'm going to teach you how to draw something pretty similar to what you're seeing there. And um, uh, Claire, do you want me to just go ahead and, and jump in and talk about what we're going to do? Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Go so hello, everybody. My name is Brad Abelson. I am a director at Illumination, where we make the minions, Despicable Me, Secret Life of Pets, Sing, The Grinch, and many more. Um, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to draw and animate a minion. And you're probably wondering what on earth does this have to do with coding or hacking or these other things? Well, the way we look at it, um, animation is such an attention getting medium. And if you're designing a website or an app and you throw a character on the screen, a real simple character, something as simple as a minion or something you create on your own with a little bit of movement, that's really gonna get people's attention. And um, a lot of people are intimidated by how to like draw or animate. And I can tell you personally, I'm not a great artist. I've, I've mastered how to draw very simple and very quick. And um, I'm gonna share some of my secrets with you today um, on how to do that so that you can um, use animation in any application, whether it's Good old, face, good old fashioned pencil and paper or in websites. I won't get into the, the technical stuff really because there's so many ways of uh, animating. Uh, there's so many different kinds of animated software, but I will later in the, the, the session probably do just a live demo of, of, of a typical um, animation scenario. Um, but the main thing we're gonna do, and this is where I don't want you to be intimidated. I want everybody 
to grab a piece of paper and a Sharpie if you have it. And when I, and, and we're gonna do a really basic drawing though. And you don't, have, if, if you're bad at drawing, that's fine. I'm gonna make this so simple, a toddler could do it. Um, so I'm gonna give everybody a minute to just grab basic paper. If you can, you know, steal from your printer, you know, the basic printer paper, that's gonna work best because we're gonna be doing the tracing. If you get paper that's too thick, it's gonna get tricky. And then you can use anything, pencil, pen, but if you have a Sharpie, that's also gonna work best for this demo. So again, I'll give everybody a minute to get to grab a piece of paper and a Sharpie. And then just so you know, um, we're gonna do a real basic lesson together on how to draw a minion. And then we're gonna get a little creative after that and have a contest where I wanna see everybody's uh, creativity and we'll have a prize for anyone who wants to uh, submit their, their drawing. Uh, if you don't want to draw and you just want to watch, that's fine. But I, I definitely encourage everybody for this first demo to draw along with me because it's really easy and fun. Um, so, um, yeah. Aurora, I see you have a question. Um, should we have our people horizontally or vertically? Um, I'll talk you through it. What I'm going to do actually now, and this is going to take me about 30 seconds, I'm going to switch my camera to a different view. So I'm going to give everybody 30 seconds to grab their paper and pencil, and I promise I'll talk you through everything. Um, so Claire, if you want to, you want to entertain everybody while I switch yeah. my camera around, I just cool. need about 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, by the way, Shravan, I don't think you need 50 sheets of paper. That's a little overboard. At that point, you're better yeah. off with a drawing tablet. <laughs> you should Hi. see me trying to animate something. Uh, I had like a few hundred frames for like one tiny thing. It was really long time. Yeah. I don't think I might need all of it. I just took it in case. Yeah. Nice. In I have case. a whole stack too. Um, clap, clap. I'm gonna do super bad. Oh, hi, Eric. Hi, Fuji. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do bad. Oh, yeah, um, I don't even have an eraser. So I didn't see the form, so I like went to all the workshops. Oh, you didn't fill out form for any of the workshops, Eric. Yeah, I know exactly. Why? But I went oh, oh, we see you. Yay. Yay. All right. So everybody got their pencil and paper. Um, I'm going to do this real slow, so you have time to catch up if, if I'm moving too fast or if, or if you're still gathering your, your paper. So to answer your question about horizontal or vertical, this is a very important step. We're going to we're going to fold our paper, you know, you're, I know this is hard to see, long way to folding it in half this way. So when you're when you're done, you should have a piece of paper folded that looks like this because we're going to be doing like a little animation that goes up and down, up and down. Yes, just like origami. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. So you've got your paper. We're going to be drawing on the, this top part at first. You got your Sharpie. We're going to start by drawing an oval. And we're drawing a minion here. So as you know, there are some tall minions, some short minions. So you can decide now if you want to have what, 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 how tall you want your minion to be. I'm going to do kind of an average minion. And it's, and it's an oval, but it's also kind of more of like a pill shape. So you can go ahead and fill most of your page with this little pill shape. Um, and if again, if you wanted like a tall minion, I don't know if, you, if you've seen the Minions movie, Kevin's the tall one. He's He would be a longer, skinnier oval. Bob is a little cute one. He's practically a little circle. Um, but again, this is this is standard, standard issue, average minion I'm drawing here. Now we're going to draw the eyes. So watch me for a moment before you draw because you want you want to work on this upper third and you want to do two circles, but you want to touch, you want them to touch in the middle and you want to leave some space above and on the sides. So go ahead and draw your circles. And next we're going to draw the goggles. So the goggles are another round, another set of circles that go around, but they, they connect up on top and below. So watch what I do. Goggles above and below, connecting just at the top and bottom. And then the next thing we're gonna do are the little goggle straps that are like on the side of the eyes that hold the goggles onto his head. We can just draw some black lines. Now, as you can see, I, I don't draw perfectly. This is a pretty wank, you know, janky uh, circle, but it's it's totally fine. So don't you don't have to get precious with this. This is all about just having fun and getting the, uh, the idea of how to, how to draw quick and, and, and animate. 
So once we've got our goggles, now to draw some pupils. Um, I'm going to give you a chance to be creative in a moment, but for now, everybody just draw two pupils looking straight ahead in the camera, right in the middle. And then we're going to give them just a simple smile mouth, just below, basic smile. Nothing too crazy. And now we're giving them some arms and legs. The minions have tiny, tiny stubby little legs. So we're gonna start with two little lines for one leg and then a, a, an oval for a boot. We've got these little black boots. And then another set of two tiny little stubby legs and a black boot. Their arms on the other hand are very long and they start about halfway, you know, in their body. So. For this first drawing, follow me, and then the second one drawing will get crazy. But the first drawing, we're going to have just two long, skinny lines going down for the arm. We can do the same thing on the other side. We're leaving space for the hand and the glove. The, the minions, does anybody know how many fingers a minion has? Four. Four. One. Three. Four. You're thinking of every other cartoon on the planet, but the minions actually have just fingers and a thumb. So we've got, you're gonna draw, you're gonna leave a little space. We're gonna draw three little bumps for the fans and then a little glove sleeve because they wear these little black gloves because they're little workers. And the same thing on the other side, three little bumps for the fingers and then like a glove sleeve. Now we're missing something very important, which is his clothes. We've got ourselves a naked minion that could be that could get us all in trouble. So let's do something about that. Let's give them some overalls. So the way we draw our overalls is we right about halfway between the armpits and the bottom, we just draw a straight line across. And then above and below his shoulders, we're gonna do two little lines for this, like the straps of the overalls that hold up the pants. And then to hold, to connect those little black circle for the button. And every minion has a little pocket right in the front of their overalls. And to draw your pocket, you're gonna do just a straight line and then a, like a U shape underneath it that kind of follows that general body shape. So now here's a fun fact. If you see a, a minion um, with a letter G, that is a minion from the Despicable Me movies. Does anybody know what the letter G stands for? Rip. Gru. That's right, Gru, because the minions belong to Gru. They're his minions. And so he has this little patch that he's embroidered on their, um, on their overalls that looks like a letter G. So if you want your minion to be a modern day Gru, <laughs> uh, Gru issued minion, put a little letter G here. If you see out there a minion that doesn't have a letter G, it's because it's from before they met Gru, like in the, the Minions movie. The Minions movie is a prequel to Despicable Me before they ever met Gru, so they didn't have that patch. So you can decide if you want the little letter G or not. Or you can so, put your own last name. last thing, what's that? Or you could put your own name. You could, yeah. In fact, put your own letter in there if you'd like. Um, the last thing we're gonna do is some hair. Um, minions have all different hairstyles. This is where you can have some fun and do whatever you like. I'm gonna draw basic like spiky hair but you can give yours, you know, a ponytail or a man bun or, you know, mohawk, anything you want. So now we've got our basic minion. Now here's where the animation part starts. We're going to take our piece of paper and watch closely. We're going to, we're going to take the, the piece that was behind it and flip it up and fold it over on that same line so that the bottom page is now on top. And if you did it right, you should be able to see very faintly through your first minion because we're going to, which is important because we're going to be tracing things. So again, your, 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 your original minion should be on the bottom and you should now have a blank piece on top. And if your marker bled through a little bit, that's okay. That's totally fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing our second pose. And um, for the most part, we're going to be tracing what we did but we're gonna change a few things. And that's where, that's what's gonna move. That's like the basic concept of animation right there. Um, this will all make sense in a moment. So follow along with me and I'll tell you where you can, um, where you're tracing and where you're not. Let's start by tracing the goggles, but not the pupils. So hopefully you can see through 
and do your best to trace those two circles and the goggles around them, but leave the pupils out for now. And if you're having a hard time seeing through, here's a little trick. You can always hold it up to the light, like, or even, even put it up on a window to like get that, that first drawing to shine through. But hopefully if you drew dark enough and you have thin paper, you can see what's going on below. You can also kind of cheat by like kind of peeking underneath. But um, we're gonna, so like I said, we trace those goggles. You can even trace the goggle straps. But we're gonna start changing some things. We're, instead of the pupils looking straight at us into our soul, as I saw somebody wrote, uh, we're gonna have our pupils do so, any, any, something different, anything. I'm gonna do mine doing, going cross-eyed, but you can have yours going, you know, wall-eyed up and down, left, right, one going up, one going down, anything you wanna do, as long as it's different. Now we're gonna trace the body, just like the original body, nothing's changing here. Not the arms or legs, but the body, the outline of the body. Do your best to get close as you can. If it's not perfect, it's okay, but the, the closer you get, the, the sort of cleaner this animation is gonna be. So everybody should have had that smiley mouth underneath. Now we're gonna change to a different mouth. And this is again, where you can have some fun. You can have them doing like, you know, a, a, a smile with teeth. You can have them with his mouth making like the O mouth, or you can have his tongue sticking out. I'm gonna do a tongue sticking out. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the top line a little higher as if his mouth opened. And I'm going to leave a little space for his tongue. Again, you can do whatever you want. I'm just doing a, doing a silly minion with his tongue out. And I'm going to fill in this black to make it look like his mouth is wide open. And everything else we did with the overalls, I'm going to trace. I'm even going to leave a little gap where his tongue is so it looks like it's overlapping. But I'm going to trace the overall straps, the buttons, the pocket your logo with whatever you put in there. I like Claire's suggestion to personalize it. We're also gonna change, uh, we're gonna trace the hair. Man, even I'm having a hard time seeing what I did. We're not tracing the arms or legs yet. So you should have a minion now <laughs> with no arms and legs. So we're gonna change a couple things here too. Uh, my minion legs before we're going straight down, I'm gonna have him going out to the side now, like he's doing jumping jacks. You can go ahead and maybe just do this or, or, or something different if you'd like. Um, and then instead of his arms going straight down, I'm gonna have him going straight up. So they're gonna connect in the same exact spot, but they're gonna go up. So two straight, two skinny arms going up. Um, same thing with the fingers as we did before. Three little bumps for the fingers and a glove sleeve. Three little fingers and a bump sleeve or a, and, a, and a sleeve. So we are done with the drawing. Here's how we animate our minion. You're gonna use one hand to kind of hold a, one of the corners and you're gonna use the other hand to like, uh, to, to hold the, the top page and you're gonna kind of flip it almost like roll it really fast. And if you did it right, your minion should look like he's doing jumping jacks. Who's got an animated minion? Is it working for you guys? Yeah. Awesome. It's kind of funny. Really. So you guys, you guys just learned the most basic, basic concept of animation. And this, this basic concept where you trace things that you want, you know, to stay the same and you change things that you want to move is, is, is the foundation of all animation. And you can do this sort of basic two pose cycle with a million different things. Um, you can, I'm going to share some examples. You can, um, here's a minion doing the floss. Someone, I saw someone wanted to, a minion doing the dab. Hopefully this is the next best thing. Here's a minion dribbling a basketball. Again, everything stayed the same except for his arm and the, and the ball. This is my favorite. This is Bob, the little minion. Little Bob doing big burp. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> um, and you don't have to draw, it doesn't have to be minions. You can, you can animate anything. You can animate, you know, 
a, a rocket ship. You can animate uh, uh, any other character. There, there's no limit to what you can animate, but I would love to see, at least I want to see Claire's minion, Jumping Jack minion, before we move on. Yeah. So I've turned off. Yours? Sure. Uh, or you I don't hold it up to the screen. I, I turned off spotlight. So if you guys want to move to gallery view, you can put up your drawing too. So it's kind of All dumb. Right. Oh, wow. The halo thing is still there. Wait, let me get rid of that. <laughs> that came out great, Claire. Thank We're you. Stop talking so we can see yours. Everybody hold up your minion. I want to see everybody's minions. Really nice. Good stuff, guys. Beautiful. It looks really nice. Everyone's just it so good at it. Good job. All right, so here's where we're gonna have some fun. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna ask those of you who want to participate to come up with your own animation cycle. Um, I would love it if you did something with a minion, but you don't have to. Um, just keep in mind, I'm judging. So, you know, you're going to get brownie points if you draw, if you animate a minion, but, but again, if you'd rather animate something else, absolutely go for it. What's most important here is creativity. I'm not going to be judging on your drawing skills. I just want to see, um, what you guys can come up with. That's really interesting and clever and funny and charming with that. And, and it, and ideally it should just be two simple drawings that, that cycle. And while you do that, I am going to um, ask Claire to challenge me, and I'm also going to draw something live. And if you would like to just watch me, that's fine. If you'd like to work on your uh, your your contest piece, that's fine too. Um, I have but, a question. Like said, yes. You have a question? Um, yeah. How would you make it with more than two frames on paper? Um, for this demonstration, you can't. I can explain that maybe later. Um, how you can make okay. a flipbook using like a like a like a pad of post-its or something like that. It's a basic, mm -hmm. same basic concept. But for now, um, I would love to just see everybody get really creative and come up with something of their own. And again, um, and and we have a prize, or whoever is, comes up with the most clever uh, animation cycle. And in the meantime, while you're working on that for I don't know five ten minutes. Um, Claire, I'd like you to challenge me to animate something, Ooh. whatever you like. Hmm. Hmm. So there's two things. I know I really like comics, but I know that's hard. Um, actually, why don't you guys send in poll a uh, chat where you guys move on? I know my request would be kind of weird. No one has any requests pie <laughs> anime stuff can you can you I like uh, cat animate girls can you animate I a batman can you animate a batman um like i'd one? love to do something with a minion like what if i did what um, if i did oh, like I a have little, a, I have a little a hacker minion what if um, i have a suggestion oh yeah um so like you showed us that little the baby minion like burping yes um like could you have a minion with its a mouth wide open and then like it has a pizza in its um hand and then the next frame it just like absolutely it that in. sounds great i love that yeah i like that idea okay. yeah all right give me a minute to think about this so i just have to think about how which how i'll do that so start pose pizza second pose cramming in his mouth all right here we go pizza minion Pizza minion. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that is so quick and so nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put a B for Brad. I like that idea. I've never had my own minion. This changes everything. This is Stuart. Stuart has parted hair. 
All right, so now I'm going to have them holding out. I have an idea. Minion would need a slice of pizza. A minion would eat an entire pizza. All right, a little steam coming off that thing. All right, there's my start pose. See if I can pull this off. Keeping this eye the same. Actually, I'm gonna close it like he's in, like enjoying it. Keeping his head the same, his hair the same. made a mess. There's going to be like food all over his cheek. <laughs> this is all the same. I'm just, all I did was change his hand and his um, cheeks. Uh, let's see if this works. You ready? Drum roll. Oh, ow, 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 ow. What do you think? Did they pass? 10 out of 10. It. Actually, 100 out of 10. <laughs> awesome. Like Thanks, idea. everybody. I like it. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I know that was kind of quick. So if anybody's working on their own and needs more time, keep going. I'm not going to judge or ask you to share just yet. Um, I'm going to switch over to um, a different little lesson um, where I'm going to share my computer screen and, and show you how I would actually draw using um, animation software. So give me a moment to switch my camera around. I'm going to turn this off for a sec. So I made one. It's kind of cheesy, um, but I'll, yeah, I'll show it. it. So this is Cupid the Minion, and then he shot an arrow. That's great. That's perfect. A. A plus. Thank you. Right, I'm, I'm like back. on the first frame. What's that? I'm still on the first frame. That's okay. Same. That's okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now, and, and, and again, if you're working on something, keep working. If you'd rather just watch, that's fine too. I'm gonna to switch over to sharing my screen and I talked to you a little bit about animation software. Um, there are so many different kinds of animation software out there. Um, I, I use something called Storyboard Pro because what I do, I'm, I'm, when I'm directing on Minions, I tend to, to work exactly the way you just saw me work with a Sharpie, but on the computer, just drawing really simple Minions just to figure out the basic the basic motions. And in this software, we're able to draw on the screen. So um, can you guys see me drawing like the little red lines? Yes. It's working, okay, great. So this is this is how it works. I'm, I'm, I literally have a monitor that you can draw on. It's just like a stylus. Um, it is a stylus that I'm using to draw. And so I can undo um, and I can, I can do, you know, I can, I can enlarge things. It's, it's basically just like my Sharpie, but I can change things and I can delete things and I can um, rotate things. It's awesome. Um, again, there's so many different kinds of software that does this. Uh, Adobe has an animation software called Animate. Um, there's probably a lot of free software out there. In fact, if any of you have some basic animation software you've used and you want to recommend it in the chat, please do. But I'm going to just take you through a real simple situation or a scenario that I would animate. Um, using the software. So I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna start by drawing a really basic minion, even more basic than the one we just drew because I wanna just demonstrate how unimportant the, the, the drawings being perfect is. Um, this is just a, this took me, you know, five seconds and I've got a real basic minion. Um, I'm gonna just color his eye 
um, white. You can't see it because it's behind, but I'm going to then color the rest of them yellow. Basically, you have these coloring tools that you can decide if the color is on top or below. So this is behind. So I've, I've got this basic minion now. And um, I can do a lot of different things with them. I can do what we just learned, where I can I can duplicate this uh, this frame. Down here, I've got a timeline. This is just like an iMovie or any basic editing software where I've got my drawings on a timeline. And what I did is I duplicated that drawing and I'm gonna change, actually, let me, let me make, I'm gonna make him wave. So I'm gonna change his arm to going up and I'm gonna duplicate this drawing and I'm gonna make the second drawing going a little bit down. And when I flip it back and forth, he waves. And it's just like what we did on the paper, but it's now in my computer. Um, and there's so many things you can do without having to do a super detailed, perfect drawing. Like remember that um, minion doing the floss that I showed you? I can do that here really easy. Like I just rotate his body and I put two arms out going one direction. And then um, I duplicate him and I flip him. Get him lined up and then boom, flossing minion. It's real base, it's real simple. Um, and if I want to start putting this um, in real time, like I'm making a little animated video, I start to get into how long do I want these frames to last. So like right now, you don't know if you can see it, but each of these frames is a second long. And if I duplicate this, you know, four times and I press play, it's like, boom, 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 really slow and boring. I want to make my flossing minion much faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the timing on this first one to like, you know, like a quarter of a second. Same with this one. It's like really short, four frames out of 24 frames. And I'm going to repeat it a bunch of times on my timeline. And when I push play, he's going to go crazy really fast. So that's that's basic animation on a timeline. You control the timing of how fast you want things to go by how long it's on screen. Um, another really cool thing you can do when you're using basic animation software is you can change the camera. And when I say the camera, I'm talking about like the framing. Right now, this is my frame, the, the, the rectangle. I'm gonna just give him some arms again. Um, but you can change, you know, whether it's a close up on him or a, a wide shot on him and you can even move it. So like, here's a, a situation where I might take my minion and I'm gonna duplicate him a bunch of time. I'm gonna give him a bunch of friends. I'm just copying and pasting a bunch of these minions all around. Oops, he lost his arms and legs. So now my one minion has just been cloned and now he's got a bunch of friends. Um, and they're all outside this camera. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a keyframe. I'm gonna make this sec, then I'm gonna make this shot about two seconds long. And I'm gonna set a keyframe here for where I want the camera to start changing. And a, a little later, I want it to go from a close up to a wide shot and add a new keyframe. Oops, start frame. Here's, so here's my start frame and here's my end frame. And when I push play, watch what's going to happen. We're going to start close and it's going to widen. So I'm pushing, oops, I have it backwards. Let me do it the other way around. All right, and I'm pushing play, close up. And we just revealed our minions and it was kind of quick. So I want to make that reveal slower. So I'm just going to drag these keyframes a little farther apart. And now when I push play, it's a nice slow camera move. So that's like basic animation, not even redrawing anything, just using the camera. Another cool thing I can do here is I can um, I can animate things. Like if I, um, let's say I drew a bunch of clouds. I'm gonna draw a cloud, um, like a gray cloud. I can, and I'm gonna fill it in. Oops, I need a thicker pen here. Gray cloud. Right now it's on top of them. I have these layers here. It's just like in Photoshop, I can change the order. I'm gonna make that cloud below the minions. And I'm gonna duplicate this cloud a bunch of times. Shrink it down a little bit. I think I want less minions for what I'm about to do. I'm gonna delete some of these guys. Sorry, buddy. Make you guys a little bigger. 
All right, more clouds. Oops. And I'm going to now set keyframes on my clouds instead of my camera. Oops. Um, so I'm going to start my clouds here. Ooh, I got one of my things got messed up. Let me fix that. Oh, minion's missing an arm. It's a bloodbath. All right. So I'm back to my, um, my club keyframes. I'm going to start it there and I'm going to end it, end the um, clouds higher. Sorry. Like that. And so what do you think is going to happen when I push play? Let's see. Here's what's gonna it happen. Looks like the minions are flying. Exactly. It looks like we're they're they're, they're raining minions. Our minions are falling down on Earth, and I can take that whole shot and make it shorter, and it's gonna look a lot faster, just by changing the length of the shot. Now they're falling a little faster. Basic animation, guys. Um, another really cool thing you can do. Is this all making sense? And you guys can see this, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. I want to show you one really cool thing you can do. Is you can draw a lot of these kind of basic software applications, you can draw on live action footage. So I actually did something ahead of time here. I, I, I made a, I, I shot on my iPhone a little video of myself. That I'm going to show you real quick. And then I'm going to show you how you can draw on top of it. So this is me <laughs> about half hour ago. Um, watch what it, watch, you'll, you'll understand what's going to happen in a second. I'm just going to push play. Hello. Ow! I just got slapped so by a minion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a minion slapping me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm even going to include some sound effects that'll kind of help me kind of figure out exactly like, you know, what that, when that slap happens. So I'm just going to literally draw on top of this a real basic minion standing here. Oops. Okay, here's my minion. Again, I'm gonna just fill them in real quick, real basic colors. So now I've got my minion standing here and he's standing there right now. He's just gonna be standing there not doing anything. Hello. Hello. Ow. I added some sound effects in there, but they're out of order. So I'm going to have him say hello or bellow, and then I'm going to have him slap me. Right now, again, nothing's happening. Hello. Hello. So using those Ow. sound effects, I'm going to start to change my menu. I want him to say bellow. Hello. So I'm scrubbing through, and right when he hello. starts to say bellow, I'm going to open his mouth. Oops, I need to fill in the yellow here. So now his mouth is open. Oops, I'm totally messing this up. I gotta delete it here. All right, so close mouth, open mouth. He's gonna say, hello. And then he's gonna stop talking here. So I'm gonna copy and paste my closed mouth minion. So right now, how, let's see how this plays. Oh, see how his no. little mouth opened up? But I want him to like make a different mouth when he gets to the O part of bellow. So halfway through, I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna change this mouth here. Fill it in, oops. To a O mouth and see how that plays. Pretty good. No. Wanna, the timing's a little off, let me fix that. All right. Hello. Hello. All right. So he's saying bello. Now I want him to slap me. So I put a slap noise right here. So before he can slap, he needs to wind his arm up. So I'm going to cut, start a new drawing here. Let's see, which arm should I have? I should probably use this arm. So I'm going to tilt his body as he winds up. Actually, I also want to make him kind of mad. Like he doesn't like me. 
I don't know why. I've done nothing to him to deserve this, but he's going to slap me. So he's going to wind up. Well, it looks like he's slapping you like a friend, like a friendly slap. Okay, good. So he's winding up, and now I'm going to do the actual impact. And what's good is because I, I acted this out ahead of time, I can use my own live action iPhone movie as like a guide of like where the impact is. So he's going to go like, boom. I'm even going to add some like motion lines, like white ones, and like a cartoon slap mark. And that's only going to last for a couple of frames to get rid of those. And then I'm going to have him, oops, he's kind of off his legs. Oh, well, I think that's fine. Then I'm going to have him go back to normal. But I'm going to have him still kind of looking at me with the evil eye. All right, let's see if this plays. You ready, guys? Here goes. Hello. Hello. Ow! I just got slapped by a minion. <laughs> and there you have it. Basic that's animation. So cool. That's so cool. Um, oh, that's that was really cool. I like the sound effects. Hello. But what's cool is like you don't need fancy software. You don't need to be a great artist. Can you um, play that one more time so I can take a screen recording of it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Ready? Hello. Hello. Ow! I just got slapped by a minion. <laughs> you know, when they made the first Roger Rabbit movie, they were basically doing the exact same thing, but it cost them hundreds of millions of dollars and it took years. Nowadays, it's gotten so oh. simple that you can do this kind of thing on your iPad. It's just incredible where technology has gotten. And if you have a good idea and you're creative, you can do anything. Um, and, and again, bringing this all back to like why minions at a, uh, a coding marathon um, or a coding event, you can use this kind of really simple character animation in your websites, your apps to, you know, sell your brand or to get people's attention or to just make people laugh. So um, I just encourage you all to, to just try it, have fun with it. Don't worry about your drawings being perfect. Um, so as promised, I want to I want to see some. Oh, we'll do questions in just a second. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do some questions, and that will give, that way we can give people a little bit more time if they're still working on their uh, their submissions. So yeah, what, what questions do you guys have? Let me go to the gallery view so I can see hands. Yes, Moses. How long have you been working on practicing animating minions? Because this is like, this is amazing. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I, I actually started working on The Simpsons. Um, when I was 19 years old, I got my first job working on The Simpsons. And I worked there for the better part of 20 years before I started working on The Minions. And um, I, obviously, I'm good at drawing characters that are yellow with big eyes. Uh, the 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 change was pretty simple because the Simpsons and the Minions have a very similar style. Um, but I've been working on the Minions for about five years, and um, I started out working in marketing where we do like commercials and things like that. And then I um, most recently got promoted to to be a director on the newest Minions movie, which is coming out this summer. It's called Minions: The Rise of Gru. And the Minions, you, hopefully you've seen the commercials, but the Min, Minions, The Rise of Gru is a sequel to the prequel of, you know, where, where we, the Minions movie was the first prequel to Despicable Me. This is now a sequel to the Minions movie. And if you remember, those of you who saw the Minions movie, the very last scene, they meet Gru as a little kid. Well, our movie picks up where that left off. And it's all about how Gru, little Gru and the Minions um, became the team that we, we all know and love. It's really, really funny. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Isabel. Is there a particular film or TV show that you watched, not necessarily worked on, an animated film that really got you inspired to go into this business? That's a great question. Well, the <laughs> I was in high school when The Simpsons started, and that was everything for me like I had I had watched cartoons casually before that but I didn't really care that much about animation 
when the Simpsons began in 1990, that's how old I am. Um, and I was like 14 years old. Uh, it blew my mind because the drawings were so much simpler. And I, like I said earlier, I'm not a great artist, but it was like, oh, I can draw those characters. And they were just so funny. It didn't feel like it was for little kids. So I really loved The Simpsons so much. I became obsessed with The Simpsons. I started drawing The Simpsons day and night, rewatching the episodes over and over again. I was obsessed. And it never occurred to me during all my years in high school where I was known as The Simpsons guy that I could work on my favorite show. It just, it just didn't occur to me. I didn't know anyone who worked in animation. It just, I just, I just figured, you know, they were, it was some dreamland. They were making these episodes and it was only a few years later when I was in college, I ended up going to film school at USC that some teachers of mine said, man, you love the Simpsons and you can draw these characters with your eyes closed. Like, why don't you apply for a job? And I was like, you can do that. You can just apply for a job. It's not maybe quite that simple, but I basically I did. And I got a job as an animator on the Simpsons between my the summer between my sophomore and junior year of college never expected in a million years I could work on my favorite show but I think the lesson here is if you love something and if you practice really hard um, and you share with people especially like if you were go for up for a job one day uh, at a company that you love if you let them know how much you care and how much you love that that whatever that you know show or that that company produces they're gonna want to hire you because it's working with people passionate and, and, and love what they're doing and love the product. So they hired me more because of my enthusiasm than my skill set. And I, I'll be honest, I was totally out of my league at first, um, had a lot to learn, was worried every day I was going to get fired, but I just loved it so much. And I worked so hard that I got through it and they let me work part-time while I finished film school. And by the time I graduated two years later, um, without even realizing it, I'd become sort of trained to become a storyboard artist and a director. So I became, I, I storyboard on The Simpsons for many years and then eventually um, went over to the Minions where I'm, I'm directing and it's just been a dream come true. Uh, I know that that's a long way from the question that you guys originally asked, but I just thought it was worth sharing my story because again, if you love something, whatever it is, does, don't, don't, don't be cool about it. Don't like keep it to yourself. Like let people know and doors will open and just work hard and, 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 People want to work with people who are passionate. I can just tell you that from firsthand from, from all the years now I've worked in animation. So Thank you. <laughs> that's my long-winded answer to your short question. Uh, Eric. So um, in like an animation you're embarrassed about? Is there any animation I'm embarrassed about that I've worked on? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really proud of everything I've worked on. Um, I've even had some luck creating some shows of my own. They didn't do as well as, you know, The Simpsons, but um, it was exciting to, no, I'm, I'm really proud of everything I've worked on. <laughs> and I'm lucky. I know I have a lot of people I worked with on The Simpsons who were like, man, your first job was on The Simpsons. I grew up, you know, my first job was working on the Pound Puppies or the Care Bears or something that they hated. And, um, but I've been very lucky to work on things that I loved. And I think it's because, uh, I'm, 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 I don't make a secret how much I love my job that I've been lucky to work on cool projects. Aurora. I finished my thing that I wanted to show. Can I show it? Yeah, I think this is the perfect time to, for, for anyone who wants to share. Um, Claire, what do you think? What's the best way to do this? Do you, do you wanna just pick a few people? Like, I guess if, if, if you have something you wanna share, click the raise your hand symbol and then Claire do you want to just highlight everybody one by one and we can sure yeah and also yeah. I'll make a channel afterwards and you can post pictures if you want All right okay I'll just go by whoever I see Aurora um I'll pin you first you're muted uh can you guys see that here let me I can it's a little bright put your um put your hand on top of it okay, your your lighting's really um yeah, I know my lighting's really terrible. I think if you get closer, it'll be okay. You're drawing. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then let's see, Do you, does it move? Do you have like a, a second drawing that, yeah. that animates? So no, it's hard to do when you're holding it up. He's about to kick the ball. Or he gets the ball. Yeah, that's great. That's excellent. Look at him like he's raising his hands in victory. I love it. And that's the goal on the right, right? Yeah. Excellent. 
I love the it. Angel, the halo is just oh, like that halo. that's okay. We can we can tell what you're doing here. Really great. I love it. Thanks, Aurora. You're welcome. Wait, here we go without the halo so it's a good one. Oh, that's so cute. Very cute. All right, who's okay. next? All right, uh, next up is Tristan. Hi, Tristan. Uh, okay, hello. So, I've done some of the show. Okay, so first, second, fine. And it's not, it's not the best drawing, but I just tried to draw them both jumping and high fiving. Yeah, they're high fiving. That's great. Oh, that's really awesome. I like how you had two minions. That's really awesome. Love it. Cool. Um, next up is Moses. Uh, just let I'm me know Moses. if the spotlight's not working. It's working for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the first one. Mr. Minion is flying around trying to do stuff in his airplane. Mm -hmm. And then second frame, he accidentally crashes into the building. <laughs> oh no wait awesome. that reminds See me of a movie there was there was a minions movie where Gru crashed into a building right back to i don't know <laughs> i think that's wait, probably it, everyone every I every despicable movie i don't remember that probably because i never saw the minions cool really good i love it uh our next one is um mackenzie oh hi mackenzie hi mackenzie hi uh so the first one is this one he, like kicks him down. Oh, that's so cool. He kicks him into a hole. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. That's really clever. Very evil sciencey. I see that teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Love okay. it. Great job. Um, our next person is uh sorry, give me a second, Shravin. Oh, I see you've overcome your fear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so like oh, this is the second frame, sorry. Oops. So this is the first frame. He's watching mm -hmm. one of the two TVs, and he has pop. He has his hand in a popcorn bowl, and then he switches over to the other TV, and he gets sad. <laughs> two, two TVs. And it turns to boo. It turns. He's living to... large. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice, oh. Roman. Love it. Uh, let's see. Oh, our next person is Sarah. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Um, hello. Um, my thing, I did it on my iPad, so oh, cool. it'd be a bit weird. I colored it at the end since I had some time. It's like, oh, that's adorable. So hey. Celebrating. It's like someone's in, like, the Minions giving a present and, like, a confetti blower thing. That's beautiful. I love all the colors. Now, um, Sarah, what software did you use to do that? I used Procreate. Procreate? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Procreate's really awesome. One yep. of my favorites. Well, our next person is Anary Sean. Oh, sorry, Anary Shaw. Hi, Anary. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, so mine is like a dinosaur. Oh, <gasps> Orpheus. <laughs> and then and then it presses a button. Oh, and oh my gosh, this uh, is amazing. I love this one. <laughs> really clever. You should Thank definitely you. I'm gonna make a channel right now and everyone has to post it. This is amazing. I love that dino. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Anybody yeah. else? I'm, in. I'm taking notes. Some good ones so far. This is going to be hard. Oh, sorry. I was a little bit, so I was making this check. It's my fault. Um, uh, next person is Lydia. Um, wait, sorry. Give me a second. Let me spotlight you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I did the minions on a surfboard. Yeah. And he's kind of scared about it. And then the second one is <laughs> the minions. Oh, cool. Riding the Surfing. Wave. I love that he's wearing like tidy whities or, or, <laughs> or like a bikini, like a thong bikini. Yeah, That's hilarious. His hair gets blown out as well. That's really good. I love it. Oh, I love that hair. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, uh, Musty, you're next. Do you want to turn on your camera? If you don't, I can't spotlight you. Awesome. Cool. Oh, sorry. I, oh, hi. I'm doing like terrified, like surfing minions like that. 
<laughs> reminds me of my first course of surfing in Bali. That's awesome. Whoa, I love the detail. I know. That's so nice. That's what quarantine does to you, right? It makes you just like fantasize about being outside surfing <laughs> and being on the beach. Essentially, yeah. Very cool. I love it. Thank you. Cool. And Ethan? Hi, Ethan. It's a minion. You can throw a pie, and then the pie explodes. <laughs> oh, no. That what? has happened to me so many times. What, what type, really? What type of pie is this? An exploding pie. You've never had an exploding pie? Uh -huh. Because pumpkin just isn't good enough. <gasps> <laughs> okay, I am replacing awesome. your spotlight right now. <laughs> Hi, Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Oh, okay, so her mic doesn't work, so I'm gonna just narrate for her because she's my partner. Okay. Cool. Um, so what she has is like a, a Pikachu at oh, I love Pikachu. <laughs> you should see my profile picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then um when <laughs> when she oh, right on he's like headbanger. Yeah, he's bopping to the music. <laughs> oh, my favorite man. part was a disco ball. I'm actually oh, really yeah. impressed with the way you turned his head in space. That's not easy to do. Really well, really well animated. Yeah, that's really awesome. Thank you. Um, if you want, you guys can all post it on um, the thing. So Brendan and Musty, I'm not sure if you still want to go. Your camera's not on, so I'm not unable to. Um, I'm unable to pin you. Oh. Oh, look at Musty made his or hers uh, right there in the. Ah, uh, I love it. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Nice gift, Musty. Yeah. Get, th this kind of style is perfect for gifts, the, the two drawings. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That MacBook uh, original logo. <laughs> Back book. Like DJ Minion. Very oh, cool. Brendan, Tom the Penguin. <laughs> Very cute. Hi, Tom the Penguin. Perfect. Really good. Awesome, my gosh, I'm, I'm so impressed with everybody's creativity. And um, man, this is gonna be a hard one. I took notes. I definitely have a few favorites. Post in the Minions um, channel if you'd like. It's under workshop yeah. category. I do have, I think a winner. The one that I'm gonna award, the, the, the winner of this contest is someone who I think did a really good job of, of just thinking outside the box and being very clever with what you can do with just two drawings. And that person is, drum roll please. Mackenzie, Mackenzie with her minion getting kicked into a hole. Mackenzie, are you there? Can we spotlight Mackenzie and share, show hers one more time real quick? Yeah. If you don't mind, Mackenzie. Oh yeah, sure. I just think that's so clever, especially at first I was like, what is that a big all and then when he gets kicked in it's just so so graphically satisfying I, mm -hmm. I just love it, I think yeah. that's really clever Mackenzie so Mackenzie i'm going to send you i'm going to send you my drawings and a little bit of uh, minion swag. So we'll have to we'll, we'll have to figure out uh, i'll coordinate with Claire just how yeah. to get your mailing address. Yeah, we'll be sending out a poll for everyone for addresses, so, and we'll just keep an eye on yours. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, Congrats. I think we're probably out of time, and that's all I got. But uh, I just want to thank everybody for for checking in, checking in with me, and, and watching this long, long class, and and just tell everybody uh, congratulations on on your animation. It was all really clever, and and this was just a blast. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Really fun. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed this and I had a lot of fun. Good. You're welcome. All right. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thanks.